Welcome to Two Minute Neuroscience, where I simplistically explain neuroscience topics in two minutes or less. In this installment, I will discuss the suprachiasmatic nucleus. The suprachiasmatic nuclei, or SCN, are two small paired nuclei found in the hypothalamus. They are involved in maintaining circadian rhythms, or biological patterns that follow a 24-hour cycle. To accomplish this, the cells of the SCN contain biological clocks. The following is a simplified description of the molecular mechanism of the biological clocks in the mammalian SCN. Cells in the SCN produce two proteins, called clock and BMAL1. Clock and BMAL1 bind together and promote the expression of genes called period, or PER, and cryptochrome, or CRI. The protein products of these genes, PER and CRI, then bind together and inhibit the actions of CLOCK and BMAL1, which in turn suppresses the production of PER and CRI. Gradually, however, the PER and CRI proteins break down. When PER and CRI degrade fully, CLOCK and BMAL1 are free to act again. They go back to promoting the expression of PER and CRI, starting the cycle anew. The process consistently takes around 24 hours to complete before it repeats. It is thought that this cycle of gene expression is what acts as the molecular clock in SCN cells, although the process is actually more complex as there are multiple period and cryptochrome genes as well as other proteins involved in the complete mechanism. The SCN can use information it receives from the retina about light in the environment to make adjustments to the circadian clock. Such information travels from the retina to the SCN along a path called the retinohypothalamic tract.